Hi there. Um, I, I, I have this thing where I watch Queer Eye over and over again <laughs> because um, the entire show is about making people feel better and inspiring them and inspiring self-love in them and all these wonderful things. And it just makes me so happy to watch. I was just watching an episode now and it's this one where one of the, the hero, they call them the hero is, uh, has been estranged from their father. Their father loves them very much, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's like this reunion between the two of them. And, and this happens a lot in the show too. It's like this, you see this love, uh, between parents and, and children. And I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't always happen on the show, but you know, anywhere, any, any area of life, you know, you see, oh, excuse me, you see good relationships with parents and not so good relationships. Um, and a little while ago, maybe a week ago, I don't know, I, I was on here and I'm, and I realized, you know, because I realized that when I see that and I'm sad, like see a, a good relationship between two family members, like honestly, it doesn't even have to be daughter, father, you know, it could be like sister, sister, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anything like that. Um, I realized that when I feel sad about that, because I do a lot, that it's really, it's really self-pity. It's really feeling bad for myself. Um, and not just sadness, but something else I just realized watching this is like, I do feel bad for myself. I did. Oh, excuse me. But this, this concept, this feeling, what I, what I'm getting and watching comes in and, and it hits this emptiness, this like hole where I imagine like would that would be filled I imagine would be filled by having close relationships with the people in my life <laughs> you know my family um and I don't you know what I mean and I I love them all I do even my sister <laughs> who uh I'm very angry at, but I still love, but I'm very angry at. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm working on that too, though. I mean, I really, I try every time I think about her and I think about her a lot, I just keep, I keep trying to not take it personally. You know what I mean? Cause that's one of the things, what's the four agreements? What are they? Be impeccable with your word. Don't think, take things personally. And I forget the other two, but the impeccable with your word is a big one for me and I really, I want to be that and I'm go I am that, I am that. I keep saying that and I'm not, but I want to be and I, I just gotta keep trying at it, right? I mean, that's the only thing I can do is keep going for it. I know I can do it. I know I can, I know I can do it. The other thing is not taking things personally and that's, I mean, it's, cause like nothing in life is actually personal. Any reaction people have to you is a reaction to their their feelings about you, their view of you. Like they don't, it's not actually personal. I mean, it feels personal. I mean, I'm certainly, I have feelings towards other people where I'm like, no, this is, I, I personally don't like that person. <laughs> but it is honestly my, just my reaction, right? Um, I, don't, I don't know where this, where I separate that. Cause sometimes you say, it's not about the other person. But like, it is about the other person sometimes, you know? Or at least about the other person's behavior. I don't know. That's not really where I was, I was intending to go with this. Just that, um, just there's an emptiness. Um, and it, but I mean, again, like it is technically, self-pity is technically feeling bad for myself. But then I feel bad about feeling bad for myself. <laughs> Um, but I can accept that too. Like I can accept the fact that I feel bad for myself and I can accept the fact that I feel bad about feeling bad for my, about myself. Like, oh, I should, I should be more compassionate to myself. <laughs> Damn it. Be more compassionate to yourself. Jennifer, that doesn't work. <laughs> that's, 
that's the opposite of what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, so it's, it's finding a balance, right? Between being compassionate with yourself, but also being real, right? Being honest with yourself, um, which you can say being honest with yourself is a, is a form of compassionate compassion. Doesn't feel like that all the time, <laughs> but there, then there's that edge, right? There's the being honest with yourself and then there's beating yourself up and that's an dance, edge I dance around a lot. So those are my thoughts there. Um, what am I doing about them? I am continuing to think about them. I don't, I just, yeah, I just really what I'm doing about them is coming on here and talking them out. And I mean, I assume I've, here's the thing that I'm, I'm, I'm having to trust is that I assume that I'll figure it out. Like, even if I don't know right now, I'll figure it out. You know, like with, um, I was talking a little earlier, like with being present and talking, like it's hard for me to, okay, I am present in my body and I'm here, but then trying to talk there, it involves a certain amount of cerebral activity and being here, I try not to be cerebral. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I shut the brain off and I just feel I'm here in the moment. So I am, I am working on finding that space where I am both in the moment and can think <laughs> and, and not only form sentences, but also like, okay, well, if I'm speaking, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about concepts. I'm thinking about past and future. Um, and that's not being here. Right. So I just have to trust that that's going to come at some point. If I just keep going down the road that I'm going. So <laughs> I, I, that's going to be the same with the agreements, right? Like if I continue to be very careful about the words that I use and sticking to them. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about one thing right now that I said I was going to do that I haven't done that I really should do, but it's like 10. And I said, and to myself, I got to get real about this, but you know what that means? <sighs> I have to, I've got to, I must, I should. That all means you're not going to do it. So I am getting real about this. Yeah, 10 o'clock. I see it's like a, it's almost 11. Okay, it's almost 11. Like, it's a little late to do that. Like one, the thing that I'm thinking about is like I'm, I mean to go on social media and do a video every day about, uh, you know, some of it's like writing tips. Some of it's like how you can use a book to your own advantage, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I, and I mean to be doing that every day, but I'm not. And I, I said that I'm going to, and I am. I just, like, I feel like I need to get up and do it, but it's 11. But I feel like, okay, I said it, I gotta do it, right? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take a, it'll take a minute, it'll be fine. All right, so I'm grateful that I'm, I'm having that feeling, because right now I have this, like, you should just do it. Just get up and do it. Like that's the real, the right thing is to go and do it. Cause you said you were going to do it. So go do it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm grateful for that feeling. And, um, there are more, there's more things to talk about there. There's a, an event that's forming in my head that I will be working on, uh, in the next month or so that I think is really important. And I will be talking to you more about it later, but not right now. So, I'm just going to remind you guys that even if you don't think you're doing as well with what you think you should be doing, you can feel that and act on it and that will make you feel better. So you can always choose to have a grateful night. <laughs>